Hey everybody, it's Dr. Bill Jensen with the Evolve Wellness Experience, and uh, I got a super amazing guest that we're bringing on here today, uh, all the way up from the mountains of North Carolina, actually. And as is always the case with most of my people I bring on, she's much, much smarter than I am, but she's going to dive deep into uh, nutrition. She's going to get into juices. Uh, She works for an amazing company that I've been using for my own personal health benefits and recommending to my members uh, as well, and so uh, I'm sure you're going to get a ton out of today's podcast. So enjoy. Okay, well, welcome to one of our best episodes to date. I'm really confident this one. I've been excited about this all week. So my guest today is uh, she's a formulator. Uh, and she works for an amazing company called Organifi. And Organifi um, is, like I said, something I've been using now for, well, well over a year or so, I suppose. And they have a ton of different products um, that are really, really good for everybody out there. Uh, so today she's going to get into the nitty gritty on all the, the some of the main product lines that they have out there and why everybody on this planet should definitely be getting to that website to get their products as soon as possible. So welcome to the show, Shanai Pelka. How are you doing today? I am great. Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting. Oh, yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. I always love an opportunity to get down and uh, get nerd nerd out a little bit and talk about all the the different ways that people can get themselves healthier. So I guess a good introduction, obviously, uh, would be, you know, to tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, your background, you know, how you got to where you are right now and how you came to be a, a part of the Organifi movement. Awesome. All right. Well, so I'll begin back in college. I was an eager science student, ready to go to med school, and I ended up getting pregnant my junior year of undergrad. And um, I really struggled for many years because I really wanted to be somebody and I really wanted to go to med school. And I felt like I needed to wear that white coat. I needed to be, you know, that that top, you know, the top notch. Mm -hmm. And um, I really struggled because I really loved being a mom too. And I didn't want to leave my son. And then uh, a year and a half later, I had a second and um, I was, I was just young and immature and still growing. And honestly, I stressed about it and I beat myself up a lot. And it wasn't until I went through quite a major health crisis that I started just settling into my role as a healer. And um, it's just really interesting how things just happen for a reason. So after I had my, after I had my third baby, I I started studying nutrition and herbs and I was doing a master's in nutrition and I was starting to get pretty interested in that, but I was still struggling with, um, you know, trying to be enough, you know, more, more than just a mom. And I was 27 and I I started to get really sick and um, I was getting ready to move from Michigan to California at the time. A lot of people had pneumonia um, around me. It was winter. I, I, I knew I was overdoing it and I didn't really know. I didn't have enough confidence in herbs at the time to know how to support my respiratory system and my immune system. So I went to the doctor, asked him for some Zithromax. He gave me Zithromax easy thing to do. Um, I took my first dose and I I started feeling really weak. I just went about my day because I, I always fight through, you know, if I don't feel perfect, I I usually will just fight through it. So took my kids to a roller skating party that night. And then the next morning I woke up with bruises all over my body. And um, I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe my iron's low, maybe my vitamin K is low didn't really think anything of it. I took my second dose. And then the following morning, I woke up with blood coming out of my nose and blood on my tongue. And I was like, okay, I am really sick. So at that point I had to go to the ER and I was admitted instantly. I had, I had less than 5,000 platelets. Normally you're supposed to have 150,000 to 475,000. And, um, so I, if I would have fallen at that skating party, I would have died. Mm -hmm. So 
that was really scary because I was on the cancer ward. You know, they tested me for leukemia and HIV and everything else that could cause this situation, which this is also actually called idiopathic thrombo thrombocytopenia purpura, known as ITP. Say that Idiop seven times fast, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and idiopathic is just basically, we don't know where it comes from. And, um, you know, the hematologist was pretty adamant that the only way I would heal would be to get a splenectomy because they, they injected me with prednisone and my platelets would go up to 20,000, but then they would stop the prednisone. They would dive back down into danger zone. And of course, prednisone made me feel terrible. I probably have never felt so awful in my life um, that I did after having an injection of prednisone. So I was really scared. And at that point, I, I knew that there had to be something more. And again, I didn't know a lot about herbs at the time. My ex-husband um, went home and research did some research because we were all we were all scared and he came back to me and he's like I think that um I think that I have some products that could help you so I just opted to leave the hospital I was at 20,000 platelets which is still pretty dangerous we actually got in a car accident on the way home because it was snowing oh and that's God. really ironic because I definitely could have died so then I went back to the ER and I had to get all these cat scans but uh you know I was young I'm sure that really that helped <laughs> you know, my capillaries were really strong. Um, but anyways, so I started on a whole regimen of Chinese herbs and literally within two weeks, my platelets were at a hundred thousand. And, um, then I, you know, gained confidence in herbs and I started researching a, like a lot of things to just kind of balance the immune system. Cause this was autoimmune. Mm -hmm. And I added, I was probably taking like 20 different supplements and, um, it made some changes to my diet. I, I already was eating like quite healthy, um, mostly organic, but, um, I think that the stress that I had put myself under for so many years was catching up to me. And I was also exposed to a lot of toxins from, I bought a new minivan, new minivans are filled with toxins. Mm -hmm. And I, we were painting our house and remodeling. And so all those things probably were, you know, one of those situations was basically the straw that broke the camel's back. So, right. Anyways, so I got on, you know, all these other supplements and then within another two weeks I was at 275,000 and that's where I've been ever since. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was remarkable healing, but within all of that, I had complete adrenal crash, like a complete adrenal failure. Um, when I tapered off and had no prednisone at all, I couldn't even walk up the stairs and I was 27 years old. I would go into the grocery store and have a panic attack every time I got in the line. Um, the only thing that would help me is if I picked up my baby. And I think just my mother instinct, um, was stronger than the impending doom that my brain was sensing. And I, got came down with pneumonia right away because my adrenals were so weak. So at that point I knew that I needed to do more research on how to support my adrenals. And that was the moment, you know, I created an adrenal supporting formula with ashwagandha and holy basil and, um, rhodiola and shisanda, shisandra and cordyceps. And mm -hmm. it was remarkable. I mean, within, within a week after taking those adaptogens, my panic attacks went away and I have never, ever again taken my health for granted. And I have been so thankful that I didn't go to med school and that I took a different path. And the reason I took this other path was because I didn't have to be away from the kids as much but I have been able to heal so many people that I just don't think I ever would have if I had just gone to med school. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's fascinating is, uh, where our paths take us. You don't know this about me, but I originally was in pre-med at the University of Minnesota and was going to be an orthopedic surgeon. And uh, my Cairo basically talked me out of it and said, you know, you've been into holistic healthcare your entire life since you're nine years old. That's all you know you don't know medicine. <laughs> He's like, trust me, you're going to want to go down this other path because, you know, you might be extremely successful at being a surgeon and everything else and do a great job with it. But I don't know that you're going to be as satisfied as if you were doing something that you're truly passionate about. And obviously health and wellness is, 
is my passion. So yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. One, one couple of things to clarify for the listeners, um, the autoimmune disorder. So you really believe it was a culmination of multiple different factors, um, that were going on. The Zithromax in and of itself was, was just something that you were taking at the time because you were sick, but the autoimmune disorder itself was, was years in the making probably. Probably. I mean, Zithromax, one of the side effects is ITP. Is it? It's a very slight side effect. Okay. Um, doesn't happen often. Um, but I do believe that I was already weak. Mm-hmm. I was already um, in a fight or flight, you know, releasing those um, that adrenaline and epinephrine. And I was already in that state. So I was already weak. And that just comes from, I think, me it didn't come from anything but myself just being hard on mm. my myself and and always just worrying that i wasn't enough mm-hmm. and it's amazing the what stress will do to the body so i definitely think that that was the beginning and then the exposure to the chemicals the mm. riding around in the winter time with the windows up in a brand new minivan mm-hmm. that definitely added to it um getting ready to move across the country just added more stress. And then the Zithromax was. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you know, what you're describing is the typical American lifestyle is, is essentially what you're, what you're describing. And there's no wonder, obviously as a result of that, why we you know we're one of the sickest countries in the world. There's no, yeah. So, um, and the only solutions we have is, is to try to treat the symptoms and mask them with, with medications or do other invasive procedures to try to limit the damage that's been done where, as we know, we have everything on this earth in order to make us as healthy as we want to be. We just got to figure out right combinations and right places and right times in order to take those things. So that's great. So how'd you, how'd you, uh, become employed and, and start to work with Organifi? Well, I just, honestly, I, I owned my own business. I owned a nutrition bar business. It was, I was living in Southern California. It was just, this amazing time in my life. I I was on QVC show, the bars were all over all the sprouts and even in other countries. And my investor had um, kind of forced me to do a merge with another company. And within four months, um, the whole thing went under because they lied about a lot. And that's just, um, it was devastating, but I'm so thankful that it all happened because the kids and I went and lived in Costa Rica for a year, which was the ultimate healing. Like, you know, there's no better, no better way to heal than to be on the Caribbean and oh yeah, really slow down and just have bikes and live simply, you know? And um, I was, it, it came to the time where I, I knew I needed a job, you know? So uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I was, we were on the plane getting ready to go back to California to go to the expo March a couple of years ago. And, um, I, I saw this job and I was, I was on the airplane and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to apply for this job. And if I get it, then we're going to go back to California. If I don't get it, then we'll just go back to Costa Rica. And I got it. And honestly, I was worried about myself at first because I've always been kind of an entrepreneur and I was worried about myself working for another company, you know, but I, I, I kind of felt like I knew it all when I went into Organifi just about mm-hmm. running a business, but it has been, it's such an incredible, Organifi has the most incredible culture. I've never seen anything like it. And I have learned so much um, from being part of this organization. So I'm just mm-hmm. so thankful. Everything that has happened in my life, even the, the really hard things, I know that they all happened for a reason because I was supposed to be in this place right now, you know? Yeah, you bet. No, like I said, it, it, there's a time and a place and a reason for everything in life, I believe as well. So that's great. Well, considering uh, Organifi, um, tell us a little bit about the company, some of the products that you offer and, you know, why it's important that people, you know, utilize these products rather than say, you know, people would say, oh, well, you know, why don't I just go to the grocery store and get my fruits and veggies out of the grocery store and juice them in my blender and drink it that way? Like, so what, what's the, what's the magic behind your products? Well, first of all, I have to say that Organifi has really great products, you know, all organic, non-GMO, glyphosate residue free. Um, We really pride ourselves 
on our quality of our products, but we really are a personal development company kind of on a mission to change this world and, you know, change people's lives. So um, we are definitely more than just product. But the reason I feel that our products are so important is because um, first of all, it's great to go to the grocery store and eat whole foods and, you know, um, whatever your dietary habits may be, um, you know, organic pasture raised meats, raw dairy, or if you're, you're plant-based, you know, organic local vegetables. But the problem is, is that our soil isn't what it used to be. And there's a lot of minerals and a lot of nutrients that are missing today that were in our soil a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that that's a really important reason to supplement. Another reason that we should consider supplementation is because of the levels of stress that we're all under, it, you know, today. So we were designed to have this, um, we have this, um, these adrenal glands that help us stay alive. You know, we have this fight or flight response um, so that we can run away from predators. And, you know, we have cortisol that will um, raise just to help us get through stressful times. But we, especially as Americans, are going through this fight or flight response or chronic low level stress many times a day or sometimes all day long, mm -hmm. you know, and it could just be driving in traffic. It could be, you know, chemical stress. It could be environmental stress. It could be, you know, staying up all night with, with a crying baby and then bills and, you know, work being overworked all. And, and then obviously when you come pound it with sugar and coffee or keto you know, caffeine, then you have a uh, more, more epinephrine and a uh, higher cortisol. And the thing with cortisol is we need cortisol. We can't live with too little cortisol. I know that because I went through what having low cortisol felt like. I didn't have the energy to walk up the stairs. So cortisol is not a bad hormone. It's essential. Um, we need it for other hormones to work. We need to have the right amount for even for our thyroid to enter our cells. But when we have too much or too little, that's when we get into problems. And a lot of people have just chronically elevated cortisol levels um, because of chronic stress. And then the people who have completely exhausted their adrenal glands have very low cortisol levels. And again, I, I feel that that could be even more damaging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. One of the things that we check with a lot of the members that come to our practice is heart rate variability. So we can see if they're sympathetic dominant versus parasympathetic dominant. And I will promise you eight out of 10 are sympathetic dominant. There's no doubt. I mean, it's just the lifestyle, like you said. And, you know, and, and it's interesting because you talk about Costa Rica. And one of the major things I always say when I go outside the United States, like you go to a restaurant in another country, it's so blase fair, la lackadaisical. Like, you sit down, they come up, they take your order, you know, then they come back a little while later, the, the food's there at some stage of the game. And then like, it's, it's, a, it's like everybody's expected just to sit around and drink coffee and shoot the shit basically for like 20 to 30 minutes. And the whole time the Americans are sitting there like, where's our check? Like we've been done with our food for like literally 15 minutes. Like what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> and, but everybody else is just so, so chill and relaxed and going at a very slow pace. And Americans are like on the go, got to be served now, got to be out now, wolf their food down, don't have time to even digest it. And they're on to the next stress activity. So I definitely can, can relate obviously to those situations because I'm under the gun every day too. No doubt about that. Um, I Oh, wait, I wanted to say something about that. I love that you mentioned that because if when we were in Costa Rica, if if I would go back to California for a week or so to check on things and then come back to Costa Rica, I would automatically be in, in like a hurry. And I would be like, you know, looking at my watch and, you know, I'd be biking into town and, you know, people stop you. You're expected to stop and talk to people when you can't be like, oh, I'm in a hurry. I've got a meeting. Mm -hmm. and, and it would take a couple days of being there to settle back in to how they do things, yeah. which is not in a hurry. They call mm -hmm. it Tico time for a reason, you know, no. everyone's 20 minutes late for everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I used to take care of a fairly large population uh, in the Jamaican community down in Fort Lauderdale when I first started working. And like we knew it was island time. They were not, you know, if they had a nine o'clock appointment to see me, 
we would at least give them till 9.15 before we call and make sure everything was okay. So yeah, for sure. Just a different pace. No doubt about that. Hey, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the show today. So if you want to go uh, check out uh, some of the products, uh, just go to the Organifi website, which is spelled O-R-G-A-N-I-F-I dot com. Uh, from there, you can browse some, some of the products that uh, Shania's talked about today uh, and see some of the products, obviously, we're speaking about and things that I personally take for my health. So again, that's www.orgnifi. Dot com And when you go there, if you want to order any products, you can get a discount uh, through the Evolve Wellness Experience. Uh, you just type in Evolve 15. That's Evolve 15. Uh, and you're going to get 15% off any of the products that you want to order for you and your family. So enjoy. They are very, very, very tasty. Well, let's, let's dive a little bit into some of the main products. Uh, I myself got started with the greens juice uh that your company offers uh why i'll be honest with you i literally not can't stand but have a strong dislike for most veggies so when you look at my plate my plate is definitely eight eight ounces of protein every single time probably some type of like carbohydrate um sweet potato something else in that realm but if it comes down to like cucumbers and squash and broccoli and cauliflower and all carrots and tomatoes like no thank you like I just don't I just don't enjoy I'll like eat them and like choke them down but yeah my diet's severely limited um from the from those particular food groups so when I came across the greens juice which tastes amazing by the way it's uh yeah it's not like you go and you're drinking um wheatgrass, you know, at a juice bar and you're like gagging that down. So it's actually enjoyable. You chill it out, super, super cold. You drink it. It's uh tastes minty. Um, and I was super, super pumped about it. So now it's part of my staple every single day. So tell us a little bit more about, uh, greens juice. What's, what's inside it and what's the magic behind it? Well, yeah, that is one thing about our products is that we want to make healthy craveable. Mm -hmm. You know, we want people to enjoy these healthy foods so that they can become, you know, habitual and that you crave your green juice. It makes you feel good and it tastes great. So there's no hesitation in, in consuming it. And, you know, our green juice is really awesome. It's got the, you know, Moringa, which is nature's most perfect multivitamin. It has matcha and um, chlorella and spirulina. But the, the thing that really sets us apart with our green juice is the fact that we have a clinical dose of ashwagandha in our product. So our product does help to balance cortisol, support your cortisol levels, um, and also helps promote a healthy response to stress. Mm -hmm. um, and within that, because cortisol, um, if, if your cortisol levels are not regulated, you can have a lot of food cravings. Um, so this actually can help reduce food cravings because of the ashwagandha and the cortisol support. And um, you can actually really, truly feel a difference with taking our green juice. Mm -hmm. And ashwagandha, that is an adaptogen, yeah? It is an adaptogen. It it's is a my favorite adaptogen. I've been taking it for like uh, 18 years now. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of people probably maybe are not familiar with adaptogen, what an adaptogen is. Can you give a brief definition of an adaptogen and what it is in science? Yeah. So basically an adaptogen is, you know, an herbal ingredient or a medicinal mushroom that will help um, balance the body. So balance the um, physiological state in your body and create homeostasis. So mm -hmm. what I love about an adaptogen to kind of to put it sim simply, something like ashwagandha can not only help you sleep at night and balance the circadian rhythm, but it also gives you energy during the day. Mm -hmm. It helps with mental clarity. It helps with focus. It helps with your mood. It helps with your immune system. It helps with libido. Um, so there is so much to adaptogens and it's, it's, it's a holistic approach. So you're not just taking a melatonin to try to sleep at night because you can't sleep. 
you're actually balancing your body, your hormones, and that's what adaptogens do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was always fascinated by that. So, you know, like for me, you know, if I take an adaptogen and I need to be a little bit more on point, a little bit more fight or flight, you know, at for a certain circumstance, then that that herb will take me there. But if I also need to like chill out a little bit because I'm too amped up after a big day at work, doing all the things I do, or as is the case right now, my entire database crashing on my server and us not having a schedule for three days. So that's a little stress. Ashwagandha is chill me out so I can get at least a little sleep at night. So I'm not compounding the effect the next day when I got to be on point and um, don't want to be biting people's faces off, obviously, and, and grumpy. So, yeah, adaptogens are amazing. It's definitely, definitely something everybody should be taking for sure. Uh, yeah. And mm-hmm. go ahead. I was going to mention something else. Um, a lot of people with recurrent respiratory infections need an adaptogen in their life because their adrenals are weak. So their immune system is lower. And every time you get another respiratory infection, it weakens your adrenal glands more. So it perpetuates this vicious cycle. So um, taking an adaptogen will really help. Um, it, it even help, They even help people with allergies. Mm-hmm. So um, they're incredible. I, I take ashwagandha every day, except when I'm in Costa Rica. I usually don't take ashwagandha when I'm in Costa Rica just because I'm already in such a, you know, balanced state there, Mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not, you know, real life. Right. Exactly. There, they are one of the blue zones, correct? Like one, one city in their area. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And it's just the way, the way they live their life. Um, you know, being amongst the trees and the salt water, which is really positive, um, there's actually some real physiological benefits to the body to be even near salt water, which is why you feel so good when you're near, um, you know, when you're near the water, but mm. also uh, low, low EMFs, a lot of trees, you know, you're grounded a lot. So all of this will support balance as well. Yeah. One of my, my prior uh, guests was an expert in grounding and she was actually on the documentary, the ground uh, earth or the grounded or something like that. So uh, I went to school oh, with her. Cool. Yeah. So we, we dove pretty deep into grounding and I sleep on a grounding mat in my bed at night and I have grounding bracelets. And so I, I, one of the main things that I think everybody needs to take home when we're getting into these products and stuff like that, you know, part of the problem with today's society is we're getting further and further and further away from our contact with nature and earth. And that, that is not natural. That's just not the way our body is designed. So when you speak about grounding and being in nature, and amongst the trees with good oxygen levels and low particulate matter in the air and like everything else. I mean, it is, it is the most healthy thing you can possibly do for you and your family. So I would encourage everybody definitely in where we're here in Florida, like get to the ocean, like <laughs> go walk on the beach and get grounded and, you know, get the, ener- the energy from the earth. It's, it's a definitely a beneficial thing for you. Yeah. Uh, another favorite product of mine, because I, uh, I started wearing an aura ring a little over a year ago. And so I started really checking my sleep patterns a lot more uh, vigilantly, basically. Uh, Before that, you know, if people ask me how you sleep, I'd say, great. I go to bed at 10, I wake up at 5, and I feel rested. But when I looked at my sleep, I was like, holy cow, I move, I'm up, I'm down, I'm not in REM, I'm an hour of sleep, uh, or not even hour. Sometimes I'd be getting 18 minutes of deep sleep in an entire sleep. I mean, it's just crazy stuff. And for me, winding down at the end of the night is kind of the hard part. Um, cause I sleep really bad out of the gate. So when I came across the gold product that you offered, my, my girlfriend actually, uh, recommended that she's like, yeah, you know, Organifi has got this gold product. You just make it into a tea and you drink it as a tea before you go to bed. It's supposed to help you relax and be calm and kind of get a little better night's sleep. So, so I started using that product. Amazing. So, so good. Like definitely one of my pre-sleep habits is drinking a nice uh, warm cup of that gold product. So tell me what's, uh, What's in the, what's in that product? Yeah, I I love that you love this product. I mean, there's nothing better than sitting down after a long day, you know, and relaxing with a hot cup, you know, hot cup in your hand. That's such a great habit to be in. And of course, a great tasting beverage that has a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. Um, So I, I really do love this product. Um, this product has a lot to it. It's It's got a really great turmeric extract. It's a four to one extract, meaning that 
for every four pounds of turmeric, you get one pound of extract. So it's, it's really strong turmeric. Mm -hmm. It's got, um, a really great ginger, um, um, ginger ingredient. It's got reishi mushroom, which reishi mushroom is the most studied mushroom for rest and relaxation. It's also a very potent adaptogen. So reishi is one of those great mushrooms that I like to take in the morning and at night. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, our mushroom supplier really does it right. Our, our mushrooms are all grown on wood the way that they're supposed to be grown. And we use the fruiting bodies of the mushrooms, which is actually the mushroom. So we're not using mycelium and grain, which a lot of the mushrooms on the market are basically just starch. So mm -hmm. I just had to mention that our, our mushrooms are great. So we have reishi mushroom in it. We have turkey tail in it. And um, we also have lemon balm in our gold, and that is the relaxing herb. It's it's it really is truly known as the calming herb, mm -hmm. and um, so it's it can um, help with a healthy response to stress, and it can also help to balance circadian rhythm and just really like it doesn't put you to sleep. None of the ingredients in gold will put you to sleep, but it just relaxes you and calms you so that it allows you to get in that state to be able to get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. It definitely doesn't make you sleepy. That's for sure. It, it just makes you feel relaxed. And obviously if you're relaxed, then you're in a better state, physiologically speaking, to go to bed and obviously get a good night's sleep. And a lot of, we did a, we did a sleep podcast as well. And one of the things I said during that is everybody looks at sleep as the end of your day, but I, you should always look at sleep as the beginning of your day. Because when you have a great night's sleep, that sets the stage basically for everything physically, emotionally, mentally, that you can go and tackle the day and, and be much more productive. And those, the gold product, uh, pumpkin spice is, is the flavor of choice for me. I know you do have a chocolate version as well, but I mean, who doesn't like pumpkin spice lattes over at uh, Starbucks in the fall? I mean, but you can drink this year round, obviously, with the Organifi Gold products. So I'm a big fan of that for sure. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, that's when when all the recovery happens. So I have been a chronic like non-sleeper my whole life. Um, even as a as a kid, I could never take naps. And as an adult, there was almost always too much to do to sleep a lot. And I would just not sleep and just load myself up with adaptogens instead of sleeping. But I've gotten to the point now uh, that I, I, I do both, you know, I take my adaptogens, but I, I value getting seven hours of sleep a night. Yeah. Seven to nine is, is the recommended for adults. So most people I would challenge to show me that you can sleep that much time uh, with everything <laughs> going on in their lives right now. Yeah. Uh, um, Go ahead. Oh, wait, wait. The thing about gold mm -hmm. is I love, you don't just have to take it at night. I love, I do a, a coffee with mushrooms in it and I add my gold chocolate to it. It's mm. so delicious. Um, gold chocolate is my favorite, but I really do like the pumpkin spice as well. And um, you get a lot of benefits from those spices as well. Spices are, you know, have um, incredible antioxidants and they're, they're antimicrobial. And so- Mm -hmm. I love, yeah, I love all the gold, but probably gold chocolate's my number one. And I love to use it in recipes too. A lot of people will put butter and sprinkle some of the gold on their popcorn too. Oh, wow. Which is pretty good. And I love me some popcorn sometimes as a late night snack. So that sounds perfect. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll check it out and I'll give it a review on your website for that one. Um, okay. We're obviously, you know, hopefully cross my fingers, coming out of what has been now a pandemic going on in the world for the better part of a year. Um, some may suggest a little longer than that or and other things like that. And I think like the most frustrating thing to me as a healthcare physician from, from the start is the narrative of everybody's got to go on defense and lock down and wear masks and social distance and we can't travel and we can't go on planes and blah, 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 can't go to church and we can't go to events and we can't go to concerts and all the stuff is defense, defense, don't get sick, don't get sick, don't get sick. And I, and I get for obviously certain populations that are high risk and elderly and all those things that those are certain precautions that they should be taking. But at no point during the narrative did I really hear a big discussion or ongoing thing about what can we be doing in order to make our bodies and immune systems in particular extremely 
healthy and resilient and adaptive and everything else um, so that in the event that we do catch the virus, um, our body handles it with our innate immune system. It gets rid of it, it you know, in- encodes it into our DNA. And it's another learning process that the body went through in order to make us more resilient and evolve for the next pandemic that's going to come our way. So you had a, a product that I actually didn't know about, but I'm keenly interested on it, and that's called Critical Immune. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, first of all, I was going to just kind of piggyback on what you were saying a little bit. Um, we, you know, we need viruses. We have, we're surrounded by trillions of viruses every moment of our lives. And these viruses are a part of our DNA, like you mentioned. So um, I would love to start looking at this, not as like viruses are the enemy. Let's, let's hide, let's stay away from people. Let's uh, use hand sanitizer, but we know that these viruses are, are part of our being. So let's just keep our internal terrain healthy so that we can handle these viral updates that are going to come to us forever. We're never going to be we're never going to be done with viruses. You know, we're always going to be surrounded by viruses. And and it's really interesting when you look at people who grew up, you know, playing in the dirt with soil, surrounded by soil in, in, you know, non-sterile homes and how much stronger their immune systems are. Um, So it's, it's fascinating. But anyway, so this product I, I created because these are some of my favorite herbs. I keep these around all the time, um, just in case, because you never know. Um, sometimes I take them long term, because some of these are also adaptogens. But you know, sometimes you just need a little extra support. Like maybe you're traveling on a red eye and you didn't get any sleep. You know, your baby was up all night. You're just under extra stress. You've been exposed to people who've been sick, and so you just want to take a little extra care um, of your immune system. And so this is a very powerful herbal supplement that has um, an andrographis extract, astragalus extract, olive leaf, and elderberry. And andrographis is my favorite. It's it, in Ayurveda, it is known as the king of bitters. Um, it's, it is very potent. It can treat, um, you know, it can really help boost your immune system so that your immune system can handle these colds, flus, bacterial infections. Um, There's countless studies on respiratory health um, as it relates to andrographis as well. Mm -hmm. Um, It's also safe to take long-term. So, um, and and it's got astragalus in it as well. It's astragalus has been used in Chinese medicine for centuries. Um, it's a natural remedy for illness, but it also is an adaptogen and it, um, is really, really good for the lungs as well. So, um, the andrographis astragalus combination is, Mm -hmm. is just really, really, um, potent. Um, we also have, uh, have olive leaf, um, powerful medicinal herb that was first used in ancient Egypt. And it was known as having like a symbol of heavenly power. So um, it also has really important um, components that can help keep the body healthy, you know, um, help protect the body from illness. Mm -hmm. Um, It's also a potent antioxidant and has anti-inflammatory activities. And then there is the fourth herb is elderberry. So the elderberry is considered one of the world's most healing herbs um, and the elder tree was considered um, the medicine chest by Hippocrates. So these four herbs together, I wanted to keep it simple, um, super easy. You just take two capsules and um, I didn't want to add, you know, 15 herbs in there because then you're not going to get enough of any of the herbs, but this actually gives you a really good effective dose of every herb. And um, you can take it once a day. You can take it twice a day. Um, you can take it just at the onset of when you start feeling sick, or you can take it every day. Mm-hmm. Well, wow, so it's really, really f- flexible, obviously, as far as usage is concerned. Um, yeah, I, I will just certainly take that because that saves me time because normally if I have like the onset of symptoms, I'm drinking elderberry juice that I get from an organic farm <laughs> that produces that. And then I'm tinct- okay. tincturing, uh, astragalus, you know, <laughs> and like getting all that done and taking a shot of that with uh, vodka or something. And then, I- uh, 
you know, doing doing it the old school way, right? So yeah, if you can just give me give me two capsules twice a day, I think that's a little more efficient and convenient for me. Yeah, it's great. And you know, one of the the cool another cool um, benefit is andrographis is a bitter herb. So it really does help with digestion as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I kind of like to take it first thing in the morning right before I have breakfast. Cool. Yeah. No, that's yeah. absolutely the way. Yeah. Um, one more mention is that it's really important to keep your liver healthy because the our liver, sometimes we don't really think of it as an immune organ, but it is an immune organ along with the, you know, 500 plus other functions that the liver um, has to do every single day within the body. But, um, we also have a really great liver reset product and, um, it's got milk thistle and artichoke and, um, triphala and also a burdock. So it's, it's really, um, it's a really great product. Yeah. I definitely would tell you for the listeners out there, like nearly 90% of all health related conditions, you can kind of link back to gut digestion, liver dysfunction, things like that. So, I mean, when in doubt, like if you get your gut right and you get your liver right, your body, like 90% of the time is going to function amazing, you know, regardless of any other uh, influences whatsoever. So, well, I just want to s- simply thank you for the brief overview of some of the different products that are out there. I, Like I said, I use them, will continue to use them. I think you have just the most amazing company um, for what we're trying to do in the future with uh, the Evolve Wellness Studios um, is change lives. And that seems to be a similar mission. So we want to definitely align ourselves with other companies that have the same vision for the future health of us and our children and grandchildren and future generations to come. So I truly appreciate your contribution uh, to this piece of the puzzle and uh, look forward to collaborating with you, obviously, in the years to come. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on the show. This was fun. All right. Absolutely. Shania Pelka, everybody. Um, and uh, stick around. We'll have a, we'll have another good podcast coming up very, very soon. And uh, thank you all for tuning in today. Thank you.